Hello, in this video we would like to present some of the key highlights of our upcoming Flowmon 10. Flowmon 10 brings many improvements, however the three biggest changes are the new refreshed user interface which provides better usability and simplified configuration, the new distributed architecture which provides high scalability for demanding environments such as large enterprise companies with subsidiaries in various locations, and with Flowmon 10, we are also again expanding our application visibility, this time by adding visibility into the encrypted traffic. So, let's take a look on that. Immediately when you log in, uh, you may see that the whole user interface was reworked. It's not just a simple facelift. Uh, we have also updated some screens and workflows in order to perform uh, the user experience and the general usability. Uh, so, for example, the license tab uh, now displays uh, much more detailed information about your license, uh, including, for example, the license expiration date. Other change that you may have noticed is the exporter setting, which is no longer th there. Uh, we have renamed it to monitoring ports. The idea behind this change is uh, to allow simplified configuration where the monitoring port setting could be easily used by other Flowmon modules such as Flowmon uh, Traffic Recorder or APM or others. This would allow you to reduce the number of the redundant steps during the initial setup. Uh, so much for the updated user interface. There is of course more changes, uh, but let's take a look on the distributed architecture. The distributed setup usually consists of the following components. Uh, there is a master unit, which is the most important one. A uh, master unit is a central console for management and configuration of other units. It provides central interface uh, to all data that are collected uh, from the connected Flowmon connectors. Uh, there can be uh, multiple instances of the master unit. However, the user works and perform changes only on the top priority instance, which is called the top priority master or TPM. Other part of the distributed architecture setup is the so-called slave unit. Uh, slave unit is storing uh, and processing assigned part of the flow data. Slave units can uh, either work standalone or in a proxy group. Proxy group basically enables scalability uh, because if the group is overloaded, a new slave unit can be simply added. Uh, in addition to that, one or more proxy group can, perf uh, can form a source group. Uh, all proxy groups in a source group are identical, uh, deployed, deployed in the same location and receive flow data from the, so from the same flow sources. Uh, therefore, it is called a source group. Uh, as you can see, all the management can be done from the top priority master unit, including, for example, update. It is very easy to connect to a remote appliance and check its setting. So here you can see that I can see the setting of the individual uh, unit and some of the setting is uh, in read-only mode because it is managed by the top priority unit. Uh, so, so much for the distributed architecture. And now let's take a look on the last part, which is the visibility into the encrypted traffic. First of all, in the configuration center and the monitoring ports, uh, and the advanced setting, you can see that we've added new optional L7 values for IP fix. Um, if we then go into Flowmon Monitoring Center to the Analysis tab, you can see uh, that we've expanded the parameters and you can see the new values in here which are available and you can work with them. Uh, so we are now offering a whole new bunch of parameters uh, related to encrypted traffic, uh, including, for example, protocol version, uh, encryption algorithm, cipher suite, certificate details, and others. Uh, moreover, Flowmon uh, supports GA3 fingerprint, 
designed to recognize malicious clients in the network based on their overall SSL TLS characteristics. With this level of visibility, you can, for example, easily identify all Windows 10 laptops communicated using a deprecated encryption algorithm. Uh, this is everything uh, from my demonstration. Uh, there are, of course, dozens of other improvements, so more detailed videos and webinars will follow. We encourage you to pay attention to our website and our YouTube channel. Uh, also, Flowmon 10 is already available as public beta, so if you are interested, feel free to download it and play, uh, with, play with it on your own. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.